Speaking about being safe while you travel, as we mentioned in the headlines, today Japan is set to officially downgrade the legal status of the coronavirus. As such, COVID-19 will have a similar status to seasonal influenza. See today correspondent Sigit Purnomo reports from Tokyo. The famous Shibuya crossing in Tokyo is packed with people again. This is a stark contrast from the past three years when the streets were empty and businesses were closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. During the eighth wave of infections from late November to late January, over 7.5 million cases were reported in Japan. But now, Japan is making major change to its COVID-19 status by reclassifying COVID-19 to a less threatening category. ま、ご説明したように特別な対応は終了することとなり、5月 in Japan, infectious diseases are classified into five levels, with the most dangerous include viruses like Ebola and smallpox. For general public, this downgrade status may bring a sense of relief, but some people still remain cautious. The most significant changes is the way medical institutions will manage COVID-19 patients. Until May 7, COVID-19 can only be treated at designated hospitals and patients received free treatment as fees were covered by public funds. But after reclassified as Category 5, that will allow treatment at any hospitals and patients must pay on their own except for the expensive treatments. The change in COVID-19 status will also affect border control. People from outside Japan will no longer be required to submit proof of free vaccination or a negative PCR result. This policy is in line with the World Health Organization decision to end COVID-19 as global health emergency. Japan hopes that this change will further restore economic activity. Sigit Purnomo, reporting from Tokyo, Japan.